Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to balance this reaction. It is really difficult to balance this reaction, but you, you can uh, adopt some techniques uh, that will help you to balance this reaction. So let's get started. Okay, to balance this reaction, let me draw a table here. Okay, on the left hand side, we have one aluminum here. And we have two hydrogen here. And here we have one oxygen. Okay. Here you have one aluminum. Here you have uh, three oxygen. This subscript is for oxygen and hydrogen. So you are getting here three oxygen. And you also have three hydrogen plus two hydrogen. That is five hydrogen. 3 plus 2, 5 hydrogen, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we have aluminum balanced, our hydrogen 2 and 5. So, this is not balanced. And here we have 1 oxygen, 3. So, oxygen is, balance, is not balanced. Here we have 1 even number, but here we have 3 odd number, right? So, in case of odd number, we'll try to do a even number. However, uh, here aluminum is balanced. So, to balance the hydrogen here, I can multiply here by 5, right? That gives me 10. And this 5 must come before this uh, water. So, I can put here 5, right? Okay. So here to balance the hydrogen here I can multiply here by 2 that gives me 10 right and these two will come before this hydrogen that is here because here you have hydrogen or here. So this, uh, these two may come here or here and this is creating confusion where these two will come. So uh, I will uh, deduct this method to balance this reaction so I will I will deduct this this process right okay so it is really difficult to balance right <clears throat> okay so what I'll do now uh, I will I will try to uh, make this one to even number so I can multiply here since 1, 5, 3 is a odd number, so I'll try to, um, I will try to, uh, try to do this uh, 1 to even number. So I can multiply here by 2, that gives me 2. These 2 must come before this, uh, before this aluminum that is here. So here, if I place here 2, the number of oxygen hydrogen will be changed. So we are getting here. Two oxygen right we are getting here uh, uh, 3 times 2 6 oxygen so 3 times 2 that is 6 oxygen on the other hand we are getting here 2 times 3 6 hydrogen plus 2 hydrogen right so we are getting here 6 hydrogen plus 2 hydrogen that is, we are getting here 8 hydrogen, right? Okay. So, our uh, to balance the aluminum, I can multiply here by 2. That gives me 2. And these 2 must come before this aluminum that is here. Okay. So, here we have 2 hydrogen, but here we have 8 hydrogen. So, to balance the hydrogen, I can multiply here by 4 that gives me 8. This 4 will come before this hydrogen that is here. So, I will put here 4, right? If I put here 4, the number of oxygen will be changed. That is, we are getting 4 oxygen. So, here I will get 4 oxygen, right? Okay. So, our hydrogen is balanced, but our oxygen is not balanced. Here, we have 4 oxygen, but here, we have uh, six oxygen, right? 
okay to balance the oxygen what can we do okay well uh, i can uh, change these four uh, this four by six right then i will check what is happening okay so i can put here six then i am getting six times to twelve hydrogen right so here i will write six that is i am getting here twelve hydrogen right and i am getting here six oxygen six oxygen right okay on the right hand side we have here one two aluminium right and here we have uh, three three times to like the six oxygen okay what can we do uh, okay however uh, now I can balance the number of hydrogen here right here. We have 12 here. We have 8 so to balance the Hydrogen, okay, I can change here right here. We have two that is this two has come from here But if I replace these two by by six right by uh, six here we have six 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? That is, if I place here 3, that gives me 3 times uh, 2, 6, right? So, I want to replace this 2 by 6, right? 6, and this is giving me uh, 12 hydrogen, right? So our hydrogen is balanced, our oxygen is balanced, our aluminum is balanced. So this is the balanced reaction, right? So I will show you another way to balance this reaction. I hope this, the second method will be very helpful for you to balance this reaction, right? So how to do that? Okay, I will write here aluminum, then I will write water like this, right? H wedge so I am getting here aluminium hydroxide right <clears throat> these three hydroxide will must come from this so I will put here three right if I oh, I will put here three right if I put here three then I am getting here uh, three hydrogen that is at first I will get here hydrogen right so but here we are getting here three hydrogen right so to balance the hydrogen I can uh, put here three right and then I will getting here three times to six hydrogen so to balance the hydrogen here I can multiply uh, I can put coefficient six right okay and uh, now I will uh, count the oxygen here we have six oxygen and here we have uh, three oxygen right so to balance the oxygen I can put here two that gives me six oxygen and if I put here two then I have to put here uh, the number of aluminum will, will be increased so I will put here two so by this trick you you will be able to balance this reaction quickly in your exam hall so thanks for viewing this video be well